All right, welcome back. <coughs> Battle for the Ardennes, SPI Games, 1978, Clairvaux scenario. It is now the U.S. turn five. <coughs> we are one turn away from the 101st arriving here. <coughs> Hopefully, garrisoning Baston. <coughs> and let's see, the Germans last uh, last during their turn were able to collapse the Clairf River line in their <coughs> even threatening up here, and I think they've compromised this improved position, too. <coughs> in the south, though, they were stopped, but the problem is this unit <coughs> is trapped here by zones of control. So <coughs> we're going to have to do something to resolve that. So um, things are still tight. Uh, luckily, though, there are some reinforcements. <coughs> Looks like uh, units of the 10th armored CCR is probably going to have to be diverted here. CCA is heading to Baston, probably. <coughs> okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and just jump in so I don't make these monster long videos. Uh, first we do mutual supply, and then a big point is, <coughs> as I mentioned in the last video, next turn the Germans have to measure supply, and it looks like right away these, well, it's mutual supply, so he's out of supply. And these guys, let's see, one, two, three, four, then they're off. One. <coughs> okay, and then they're off. But these guys, unfortunately for the Germans, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, yep, they're out of supply. <coughs> and we'll place it. Both. All right. <coughs> well, didn't quite get it right, but that's okay. I'll just leave it like that. <coughs> and the other thing is the 560th has to exit next turn. And one, two, three. The only way they're going to do it and probably go to travel mode, get off, <coughs> and then turn eight. The <coughs> one sixteenth Panzer has to go up. And then looking at the U.S., everybody seems to be in supply, <coughs> except for this guy. So he's out of supply. Well, never works, but I'll get rid of that. <coughs> um, yeah, these guys are in supply. This guy's in supply. And these guys are definitely in supply. So that's the supply phase. And then we got the air power phase. Uh, no air power, that's easy. And then we work our way down. We've got the building segment. Um, do, does the U.S. want to build improved positions anywhere? Not with this guy. He's moving. <coughs> Not with this guy, because he has to cover this flank. These guys can't build anything. He's in town. <coughs> this guy's in a Zoc, that guy's in a Zoc. These guys could build something, but... Well, just this guy, but very unlikely since he'll close up, so... Next we move into the battery segment, only one artillery unit, and... It's in march mode, so it can't change. And then we have mode adjustment segment. Okay, we will do some stuff here. This guy will go back to combat mode. This guy will go back, because if you're in march mode and an enemy Zoc, you can't leave. So the response is you go to combat mode. <coughs> Everybody else stays in march mode. And yeah, this guy can't go. This guy could, but he's going to stay here and build stuff. So that's that. Um, so that then brings us to the main event, since the U.S. isn't going to be attacking. It's time for movement. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice this engineer. If he'd only built it here, or they hadn't advanced so much, but <coughs> basically this position is compromised now because these guys can get on the other side, so I'm not going to put somebody good in there. Um, all right, let's do this. This guy's got to get off the line first. Uh, Lightwoods is 3-6. K-1 
Okay, so he's in a town, so at least they've got a line of Zoc here. And then this guy... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. He's going to go here. Um, yeah, that prevents this guy from moving. Now this guy could move, but this guy isn't going to move. Um, so that's those. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. I think I'm going to move this guy one, two, three, so he can build. But that means I need to drop a unit in there um, to maintain the fortification. Now the artillery can move 18, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <coughs> and then this unit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He'll go here. And that is how we maintain the improved position. Okay. So that is that defense. The problem I'm not worried about here. Because this guy's out of supply, which I think is half movement. I'll check. But he's not going very far anywhere. Um, this guy again has to cross the river. We block that there. So that's all solid. The only thing I'm worried about is a big attack on this getting a big advance after combat. Um, but they'll be stopped here at least. And then in comes 101st. So let's see what we're going to do over here. Um, <laughs> see, okay, this is where it's a little tougher. I think I'm going to pull this guy here, heavy forest, so if they do attack, he can retreat across the river which is fine. Now this guy, one, two, three, that guy can kind of get behind him. I don't know what to do over here, except next turn we are getting this guy. And he's appearing at P, which is right there, so he could assist. So the question is, one, two, three. Well, he's got to fall back. These guys can swing behind him. <coughs> the only place I can think of is right here. So there is a hole here, but one, two, three. Nobody can really, one, two, three, take advantage of it. So one, two, three. One, two, he gets here. One, two, three. No, they can't get around him, so he's good. So he's on rough. This guy's kind of forward. question is this guy, do I want to leave him here or do I want to move him here? Uh, let's see. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is take this guy. One, two, three, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here. So we are protecting the flanks on this. And the question is, is there value putting this guy here or he could go here? And at this point with this guy here, I've gone back and forth. I think he's okay there. Okay, that gives us a line. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this guy out. This will put him potentially back in supply, though, next turn. So we're good there for the German turn. So I th think that's it. Um, we are at eight minutes. That's more palatable here. Yeah, it's unfortunate that these units, um, even though they're out of supply, they compromised here. They can't afford to put a real unit there because this place is going to get surrendered, and if they get a big advance after combat, they go right up this road. Uh, I do want to get this guy the heck out of Dodge, and it looks like he'll be able to. <coughs> because this guy's movement is halved, he won't be able to cut the road. These guys are going to cut the road here, so his route is back here. So he'll be able to get out of there. This guy's okay. Uh, this guy's going to build a fortification. I was tempted here or here, but I think I'm just going to put it there. Uh, and then this is an interesting battle here. And then we've, at some point, we've got to slow these Volksgrenadier divisions down. 
So, looking here, next turn though, it's the big set of reinforcements. Um, two turns later we get this, and then two turns later uh, Patton shows up. The Patton's Corps, Third Army shows up. So we'll see. And then the other focus here is German mech units have to exit between these hexes. So if we can slow them down or block them here too, uh, we should be in good shape. Alright, so that's it. Uh, that's the end of the U.S. turn. I'll take away the marked move. And, uh, yeah, pretty interesting, pretty tight right now. Um, any comments appreciated? Like if you like it, click like and subscribe if you want to hear. We get notified when the next one is. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. December 18th, the morning of December 18th, 1944. So we're moving into the afternoon and here comes 101st. So, catch you at the next recording.